Hello, reformers, and welcome back to War Sword Conquest Pirate Edition. Yar matey, welcome back, and all that stuff. Yes. Ah, uh, so yeah, I gotta. I have to be truthful here because I mean that's that's exactly you know what what, what I am usually. But the point is. I have found that the pirates are not as enjoyable as the other races that I have so far played. So I am going to say that it's going to be unlikely that this will be a full series. So we're just going to take a look in this episode of the pirates on some more of their high advanced tier units. And maybe we're going to then go and attack something that we're actually at war against that we haven't seen yet. Right now I just wanted to attack one of the closest enemy parties just to test out our new army. Now full disclosure here, I have enhanced our progress, I have leveled up troops artificially, I have given myself a little bit more money and I've given myself a pretty nice weapon which I've not seen in use before. And that is a pirate carbine. Never seen that before so it should be really really cool. Now Otherwise, I have some Cannoneer Masters, and I have Sharpshooters in my army, and of course I have a companion that is basically just a, a filler for surgery and wound treatment and all that sort of thing, so don't really need to worry about him, but yes, this should be rather amusing anyway, because we have 109 troops against 65. Now, I have actually gone into battle, I did have about 50 troops at the time, and I fought against a very small party of Skaven, about 15 of them in actual fact, and... It was kind of disappointing, I have to say. I had about 30 Cannoneer Masters at the time. And they were unable to beat the Skaven before they actually got to us in melee. And there were only 15 of them, or maybe even 11. So that is a little bit worrying, I have to say. That is a little bit worrying. But as you can see, we actually do have a rather nice coat on. My boots do not match. Do not look at the boots. The boots do not match. Do not look at the boots. So, yes, otherwise... I have a carbine, and I'm unsure how it is, because I've actually just recently acquired it. Before that, I was just using our pistol. I do have a sword, as you can see, which can very easily thrust into our enemies whenever we so desire it. But yes, this is going to be somewhat good and somewhat bad, I feel. Yes, I would actually like it to be... Well... Hopefully good, hopefully pretty efficient, but I have a bad feeling that our Cannoneer Masters are going to let down the side dramatically because right now, or at least not not right now, but before, I was having a very bad time of thinking, oh yes, the Carbine is not good, or at least as far as I'm aware. Yes, as you can see, look at that, the Cannoneer Masters are just absolutely destroying everything from distance, but look at that, they're actually gaining on us reasonably well and everything. And, yes, with any other, I don't think this would happen. And I just missed with the carbine, really. Come on now. But, yes, as you can see, we haven't actually lost anyone, which I suppose is good. But, wow, look, that's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. Oh, no, I big shot to... Uh, oh, no, I big shot. Yes, that's not good. Let us run. And, yeah, this is exactly the reason why I'm kind of skeptical about the pirates. I would love to be able to do a series on these guys because they have a really, really cool aesthetic. But in general, what are we seeing right here? We're seeing a pretty, well, kind of weird amalgamation of things because their cannons, okay, yeah, their cannons are cool. And when they actually get to use them, it is absolutely amazing to see them fire and to see all of the amazing damage that they're able to do but for the most part they are kind of bad which is again rather a shame because I I just I, I mean I love their tricorn hats I mean look at that they, they have really cool tricorn hats they have some really nice armor on but obviously it, see that's the thing I've also been playing the wood elves and if you haven't seen that then I highly recommend to check it out because we are well, we are basically running around with a 100% Archer army, which is, in my opinion, extremely fun. But with this, uh, yeah, it's it's not that fun, unfortunately, because we are literally just waiting for them. I mean, look at that. I mean, okay, so we only lost two units. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And we were against 64 units, so I, I'm not complaining about that. But the thing I'm complaining about is the fact that they have a very low usability. Now, 
I know what you're thinking. Usability? Well, why would that make any difference? Well, that's the thing. It actually makes a huge difference, especially considering you're not really going to... Wait a minute, is that pirate pistol actually any good? I mean, is it better than what I have right now? No, the accuracy is actually better on the long barrel pistol. I'm going to use that instead of the carbine. The carbine has a pretty long reload, but I'm pretty sure everything has a pretty long reload right now. But, yeah, that's exactly the problem. The usability, when anyone of the enemy's units gets in range, basically every single enemy unit, yeah, well, I, every single, should we say, cannoneer master that we have is going to switch to melee, or they're going to do something weird like that. Now, I know what you're going to say. Well, wh why don't you just stand further back? Yeah, that would make a much better sort of difference to the whole outfit of things, but then I think to myself, well, why should I have to do that? I shouldn't have to do that. I mean, the elves are perfectly fine. I mean, when we're playing with our Shadow Lords in the Elf series, mini-series, it's absolutely fine. So, yeah, it is kind of... Yeah, the, the pirates are kind of... Yeah, you know, they're, they're not the greatest. Maybe if I went with the sharpshooters mostly first. Let's see. Let's actually see what happens. But right now, I am actually traveling over to the orcs, as I would like to deal some damage to the orcs, because we haven't fought the orcs first anymore. I mean, we're usually relatively close to them, so it would be kind of cool to check them out and maybe see a siege with them. I think it would be really cool to see their unique siege layouts, but I think the dwarves don't like me either, do they? No, I think the dwarves are neutral with me, actually. So that's absolutely fine, because the dwarves are... Oh, don't even get me started on the dwarves. I mean, really. They're, they're slayers and demon slayers and things like that. Oh, Yes, that is uh, just uh, they're, they're, ki they're kind of disgusting how good they actually are. They're kind of disgusting. But anyway, we are going to head on over to Iron Rock. And we're going to see what we can get here. I am not really wanting to do any field battles here because I really just want to get into the siege and take a look at the unique layout and everything like that. Because if I can't do anything else, like show off how cool the units in the pirate faction are, then I'm gonna try and show off how good the castle layouts and things like that are instead. Because, yeah, I know what you're saying. Well, I mean, you know, the pirates have a really cool... Oh, no. Uh, yes. The pirates have a really cool aesthetic, just like I said before, but... For the most part, they are kind of disappointing. But anyway, we have War Big Boss Grimgore here. And he is going to want to smash our faces in, probably. So, you know, that's, 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 that's not too good. Of course, the mannerisms of the orcs are relatively difficult for me to get down. So I'm going to just head on in here. Yeah, so we have 108 versus 383. This is probably going to end with our demise. But I don't, I don't actually mind that so much because we will get to see some of the orc units and maybe if I'm lucky we'll be able to actually head into their layout either in another series or maybe after this if we are victorious. I'm a little bit worried about actually surviving this so I actually don't know whether we'll be able to but we're going to try it anyway. I'm never really afraid of a fight, I just kind of... Well, I'm just kind of worried with our pirate units. With the elves, I would be like, oh, yes, we've got this, no problem. But with these guys, uh, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, literally, they almost have double our units. So every single one of these sharpshooters, every single one of the cannoneers is going to... I think I need to spread them out a little bit more. But yes, every single one of the cannoneers is going to have to kill double the amount that they actually have. So let's let's see. Let's see if every sharpshooter is able to kill two enemy units. If that is the case, then great. If it isn't, then we're, we're, we're kind of done, I think. But we're going to move Hikaru back there because he should not really be in the line of fire. He is our medic and engineer, trainer, pathfinder, all that sort of thing. So let's see. Okay, so yes, this is in fact the issue as well. They have a very long reload speed. But if they're actually able to do any damage whatsoever, then I'll be kind of happy about that. So let's just see whether we're actually able to do any damage ourselves. The one thing I really like about the pistol is that you can reload while you are moving, whereas the carbine you can't. So that's kind of a 
a shame, I would say. Now, they are doing something very amusing here, and that is, of course, going behind that ridge there, because they do want to kill us very, very badly, obviously. But I'm hopeful that we will be able to try and avoid that as much as possible. But let's just see, shall we? Shall, shall, I, shall I try? Uh, ah, I tried, I tried to kill the troll. I'm trying to kill the troll right now because the troll is its kind of a glow-in-the-dark troll right now. It's kind of amusing, actually, how he's glowing in the dark there. But there we are. We're getting a little bit of a better view on things here. Now, this is, in fact, the problem as well. The orcs do have shields. Whereas the Skaven do not. So, well, not for the most part, at least. I mean, their shields are relatively easy to destroy. So, yeah, they are going to be coming in from the side here. They actually have two-handed. Some of them have two-handed in actual fact. So this is going to be kind of amusing as well. Oh, really? Did I really miss that? I aimed for that guy's head and everything. Okay, well, yes, we're going to have to try a little bit more. There we are. Okay, so this is where it gets messy. If these guys decide to charge in right now, this is where it gets super messy. But... Right now, whoa! I only dealt 22 damage to something. I can assume that that's a black orc. But at least we get the, the first opportunity and actually view on the orcs. Because it's been a while since we've actually taken a look at them, so it would be rather nice to actually... Oh, really? Wow, that, that guy. Wow, that guy. Okay, so he actually hit us with a spear. Did you, did you see that? I think he hit us with a spear at least, but these guys are actually very, very tricky to deal with, obviously. A magical shield protects him from damage. Of course he does. Okay, so hopefully my units will be able to deal enough damage to be able to at least prevent themselves from being killed too easily. I am going to attempt to defend myself as best I can here. Ah, yes, of course. Being run over by a pig. Yes, I'm calling it a pig, not a boar, thank you very much. But yeah, at least we got a little bit of a look at the orcs here. But again, I, I gotta say, even with enhancing my progression and making everything a little bit easier than it should have been, I am not a huge fan of the pirates. So yeah, my reform rating out of 10 is about a 2. Yeah, not particularly happy about that. Yeah, I have never given that rating before, but maybe it will be a thing. Who knows? Who knows? Do you like the reform rating? Let me know. Well, whatever. Yeah, now we do see a couple of glow-in-the-dark shields, and we see our glow-in-the-dark troll. Yes. Yes, that is that is fantastic. That is actually fantastic. So, yeah, we are about to see, see our humans get slaughtered by the orcs, but, well, that's just how it goes, isn't it? I'm going to actually retreat because... I would like to leave from this. So, yes, even the pirates cannot deal with the orcs, which is fine because actually they have a huge amount of ignore pain skill and things like that. But hopefully, at a later point, we'll be able to... Maybe maybe I can actually just get this going somehow. Hmm. I'm going to cut away and I'll see whether I can actually get a siege going. All right. So, we have actually succeeded in building our ladders here amazingly enough not entirely sure how that was even possible <gasps> what the trolls regenerate their wounds are you serious okay well that's not good no that is not good well that is actually very good for the orcs maybe that makes them a little bit more powerful than they used to be because obviously we know them as being relative pushovers unfortunately enough now do bear in mind that my army is still just as weak as it was and we do have a battle advantage of minus 15. So, yeah, I thought I would just take a look at the initial starting area of the siege. Whoa, look at this, though. Literally, I'm, I want to actually get killed here. Can you kill me, please? Can you, can you please kill me? Yes. Yes, there we go. Okay, so what I wanted to do was actually get killed so that I could take a look further into the siege. Look at this. We would be actually running through all of these areas here. We would be running through here. And there would be archers on top there, no doubt, because this is actually a rally. The defenders have rallied out. This isn't actually a proper siege. And then, of course, we might be going over these rocks here. Maybe. I'm actually unsure about that. I Maybe? Maybe. That would actually be really cool. But there is actually a gap there as well anyway. So, yeah, I think that the entirety of this place would actually be littered with units. And I think that would be really cool. And they even have a boar pen here as well. So at least we did get a little look at the orc castle layout. Well, this is technically a town. This is technically a town layout, so there is that. 
And uh, yes, as you can see, the rest of my units have been eliminated. So, for now, I will be ending this episode of here. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.